Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys this beautiful virgin loose wave hair from B Hair. If you guys are interested in knowing more about this hair and how you can get your hands on it, just keep on watching. Come on! Shipping from Bee Hair came in DHL packaging. It was fast, about two days. It did come in this neon green packaging. And then when you take it out, you can find the box. It does have beehair.com. It also has thank you for shipping and how they appreciate your, your service. Um, when you open it up, you're going to find the wig and you'll find a little brochure. This wig is a Brazilian virgin classic loose wave wig. It's 22 inches and it is so gorgeous. So you're going to go ahead and take out the stuff to keep the shape and form and as you can see the pattern that it comes in is super beautiful but I went ahead and I washed this wig and I customized it a little bit so as you can see the lace is a 360 all the way around so this is going to be very versatile for putting your hair up in a ponytail and all that good stuff it does have combs in the front as well as combs in the back and adjustable straps and again this is a 360 lace wig so it's going to go all the way around. You can glue this all the way down and do so many styles. So in the front, it is pretty plucked, but it's not bleached. So I'm going to bleach the knots. I just want to show you how it looks if you didn't bleach the knots and you just went ahead and, you know, applied it. Like I said, this is a 360 and you can go ahead and put it up in a high ponytail, high bun, whatever you want. It's going to be super versatile. And I love the detailing around the ear tabs. Well, not exactly ear tabs, but once you cut it, it'll almost look like an ear tab. So I think it's super, super cute. And I think the pattern on it when it originally came was absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to go ahead and wash this baby. But first, let's go ahead and bleach the knots. So as you can see, there's a bunch of dots everywhere. So I do want to bleach it to get rid of those dots so it can look a lot more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and... Turn it around and put it on a styrofoam head just because I don't want it to bleed through on my other one. Um, just in case it did and it stains and all that other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. If you guys are interested in how I do this, I'll leave a video right here in the, up corner, in the upper right hand corner. So you guys can check it out. But it's pretty simple and I'm pretty sure if you guys um, have ever done it before on a, like a closure or anything like that you'll definitely be able to do it on a 360 just make sure you guys are taking a little bit more time so once I washed it out the pattern is just gorgeous I loved how it looked and I originally wanted to curl this but I'm like uh-uh this is too cute I want to wear it in its natural state so I went ahead and put some like bile silk in it just so it can be a little shiny and then I went ahead and brushed it out and I'm gonna tweeze the front even though it's already pre-plucked I feel like I personally wanted to clear up a few spots just for my own personal hairline so you can do that because I have a widow's peak so if you don't have a widow's peak you can leave it alone but I tend to like want to customize it a little bit more so it looks really really nice and natural in the front area so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. This is like several days later and I've been wearing this wig. I even washed it again after. So this is like quite some time after. So I'm going to go ahead and restyle it again because, I mean, I had to wash it because I had a bunch of product in it from the last time I wore it. So now that I've brushed it out, I'm just going to go ahead and see where I want to part it. Lately, I've been part doing like a side part, and then i just been putting some mousse in it. So I want to show you guys how I've been styling it because I honestly haven't put heat on this unit at all except for like the top to flatten it out because for some reason when I wash it, it's still been getting that little bulge up at the top. I'm thinking about just putting it on a wig head and wrapping it overnight so that that bulge goes away because even with the um, flat iron it wasn't going away so I was just using the Pantene Pro V mousse and I just got a good amount in my hair I mean in my hand and then I put it at the top of the hair just so it can make sure everything lays down smooth now I like this mousse because it doesn't leave the hair like crunchy it leaves it like a natural state but it 
doesn't allow the hair to get frizzy if you know what I mean like on the other side you see how it has that frizz this is just gonna smooth everything down but it's not gonna add a lot of it's not gonna add like any film or anything sticky or hard or anything like that like a gel would do so because I've had even mousses before that leave your hair feeling like crunchy this isn't gonna do that I just like how it adds the texture in my hair and well, my hair, but <laughs> it adds the texture into the hair or whatever. Like, it just makes it look super, super nice. And I could go in with a diffuser, but I'm just going to scrunch it up with my hands because that's what I've been doing lately. And it dries pretty easily, especially if you're doing it when it's already dry. So now that it's done, I just play around with it just so it could fall, like, around my face nicely. But I do want to say that it is a little bit flatter towards, like straighter towards the top, not flatter, straighter. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around and show you guys how it looks from the back. It's just so beautiful. And this is a natural pattern. I haven't done anything to manipulate this. So I'm going to have a link down in the description box below where you can find this unit. The lengths for this unit start at 12 inches and go all the way up to 26 inches. And you can find it as cheap as $99 because it's 70% off on their website. So guys, this is the final look. I really like the hair. The density is perfect. The curl pattern is perfect. I do want to apologize for some of the clips. I didn't realize that my um, freaking mic was not on. So I do apologize that I had to do a voiceover for some of it. But you guys got the point. This hair is popping. I haven't experienced really any shedding at all other than what was to be expected from the fact that I tweezed the hairline and I bleached the knots and all of that good stuff. I'm just loving the curl pattern and I'm just loving it in its natural state. Again, it is a 360 cap, so you can go ahead and put it in a ponytail. You can put it up high, um, down low, whatever you want to do with it. You can straighten it, you can curl it, you can bleach it, you can uh, color it. I said that already. You can cut it, you can style however you want, put heat on it. You can change the curl pattern with uh, manipulation. Um, like heat or even if you wanted to do like a perm on it you can do whatever you want that's the actual beauty of having virgin hair because it is nice and just in its natural state so you can do whatever you want to it I'm really loving it um the natural curl pattern by just putting mousse and of course you can enhance the curls if you go ahead and put um some like diffuser or heat or something on it like with the blow dryer and scrunch it up I love how it looks right now I think it looks nice so like the pattern look at how beautiful the pattern is the color was so gorgeous of course it's in its natural uh, hair color and it matched me really well sometimes they're a little too red and I really liked it it's so airy beautiful it had no fragrance when I washed it or before I washed it so when I did wash it it smells so good like shampoo you know how sometimes you wash the hair and it still has that ugly smell in it this didn't have that smell the only con I have about it and it's not necessarily a con because it's to be expected with a lot of companies is you may have to tint the lace because the lace was a little bit like gray toned in my personal opinion and I feel like the knots didn't bleach as well as I was expecting but that was on my part because I feel like you know I could have put a higher volume I usually do a 30 volume and I put a 20 volume and I didn't leave it as long as I usually do so I think that played into it as well so I have nothing to complain about this hair again this is from the hair I'll have all the information down in the description box below because it is super popping I love how soft it is and the density is just absolutely perfect let me know what you guys think of this hair down in, in the comment box below uh, again all the information you guys will need will be in the description box below like always don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with somebody who might find it useful and I'll see all of you guys in my next one bye y'all I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did feel free to check out some of my other videos Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And also follow me on Instagram at IamSashaFierce411.